Hello, my name is Russ from Topper International and today we're going to do a leak test. So these are the tools we're going to use to do an air test. We've got an air gauge and we've also got a container filled with soapy water. That should help us out showing us where the leak is. Steve's going to put some air in the boat now and then we'll see if we can find this leak. So Steve is putting some air in the boat but when you're in the dinghy park you can use a foot pump, you can use an air bed pump, anything to get some air in don't need to go a lot with a foot pump, probably four or five pumps should be enough to get enough air in to give you the leak test. So a good indicator to watch for is when Stuart was putting the air in you can actually see the transom starting to lift. Once that starts to lift you've really got enough air in. So now I'm going to test um, with this. This is filled with soapy water. You can do this down a dinghy park, get a bucket sponge with some soapy water in and just cover all your fittings with with the water and it will bubble if there is a leak so here you go just down here just give it a quick spray and as soon as you've got it it will start bubbling so everyone all the screws round by the self failure and looking at what I, what I can see there is a leak down on the center case here We've got some bubbles coming up at the back of the centre case. So that's probably where our leak is. We need to have a look at that in depth. And another place to check is the self baler. Make sure that there's no bubbles coming out of here because it is one of the things that gets used an awful lot. No, that looks pretty good. So we need to do the underneath for the air test now. So we're going to flip it over. And... That's cool. So I'm just going to spray around anything where it's got a screw in or a seam just to check to see if there's any bubbles appear. So we're going to go around the outside just checking along the seam line. This can leak here if your boat has taken a bit of a, a bump on a jetty or you've had a collision out at sea. But this one seems pretty good. So after doing the leak test, top and bottom, we found a small leak around the centre case. This probably just needs a screwdriver just to nip it up. It's probably happened when it's been in transit, top of a car, or on the, on the back of the boat, on the trailer. 